Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time visiting or welcome back, thank you again for joining me. My name is Jane and I really appreciate you being here. It's been a little while since I filmed and I will catch you up really quickly on what's been going on with me this summer. It's been just a lot of working and doing stuff with the family and uh, dealing with things and I just did not have the time or the motivation to film. Also, I wasn't really doing a lot of shopping or anything like that. And if I was, I just didn't feel like revealing it and it was just whatever. You know, things happen and I knew I would come back to it eventually. So here I am. Um, actually, my one year anniversary of my YouTube channel actually came and went on August the 13th. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> uh, I, I knew it was in August, but I forgot the exact date. But it was a couple weeks ago. Um, I'll go ahead and link my very first video down below if you wanted to check that out. It is uh, incredibly um, underlit and uh, awkward. But it was a really fun unboxing because there was a special surprise that I got in the box from the Real Real. Anyways, so what else has been going on? Um, let's see. Oh, we had a gigantic hornet nest in our backyard um, <laughs> that we had to get taken care of. I'm going to put a picture up here of the species of uh, stinging insect that had built a giant nest in one of our trees. It's called a bald-faced hornet. And uh, we found out after the exterminators... Um, disposed of these insects that apparently uh, they are some of the most aggressive stinging insects in the world and that they can shoot their venom into your eyes, which is something I really never heard of. That doesn't sound real, but apparently it is. So I noticed this nest uh, a few weeks ago. I was outside with the dogs and I looked up and I saw this huge gray obviously a wasp nest or hornet's nest and it was really really big it's like the size of like a, a melon maybe even a little bigger than that and apparently so it had been there a long time but I hadn't noticed it until it got to the size where you just had to notice it and it was covered with all these black insects they normally I think of yellow jackets and wasps as being black and yellow but these were all black and I thought well that's strange I've I've never seen a, a bee that looks like that, but it was quite obviously bees. And so I, I got on the, uh, I found an exterminator as quick as I could, and they came out like about a week later. It took the, a while to get on their schedule. They came out. I was at work at the time, and they killed all the hornets and left the nest there. And I'll tell you why. Because um, it's a dead nest, but having that present uh, will keep other hornets and other wasps from building their nests nearby because the hornets are territorial. But anyway, so the exterminator told my husband that they were bald-faced hornets. They're super dangerous. They're super aggressive. They're the kind of hornets that chase people. <clears throat> so I'm really glad that we knew that after the fact because if I'd known that before the fact, I would have been way more terrified. <laughs> so that was exciting. And then... Um, also, about a week ago, uh, my husband tested positive for COVID, and of course, then of course, two days later, I also tested positive. So we've been isolating, and right now, I feel mostly better. I feel a little bit congested, and you know, like a runny nose, and I feel some fatigue as well. Other than that, I'm fine. Um, I'm still in isolation. This is. Um, like about a, one week out. And so I, according to the CDC, I can go out and about again tomorrow with a mask on for five days, and then I'll continue to test until I get my negative test. So that sucked. <laughs> um, my daughter, my older daughter also got it, but she, of course, is totally fine. My youngest daughter is still testing negative, which is crazy. She's apparently immune, or maybe she's just already had it or who knows, she's just got a pretty powerful immune system. Anyways, so that's uh, just a couple of things that have been going on this summer. It's been a pretty good summer. Um, 
I'm still loving my job. I'm sad that I had to miss work this week. Did not like that. But I'll be back at work next week. And uh, so this is going up, I believe I'm going to put this up on Saturday. And this video, as you may have seen in the description, is a collab video with Winnie B. L. V. And we are talking about our new Coach Pillow Madison 18 bags. I received this yesterday and I'm going to tell you all about it. As you may know, I already have this bag in the larger size, in the black leather, and I love it. When I saw it in the smaller size, I was very intrigued, and I love the bright, fun colors that they had, but I didn't really love the price. It's The retail is, on this is $3.95, and to me that was a little high, which I know compared to luxury mini bags, it's nothing. But I was waiting for it to go on sale, which, since it's Coach, I knew it would eventually. And finally, Zappos uh, started having their VIP sale this week. And the sale will be ending on Sunday, August 28th. And uh, this bag is currently in the sale for $276. And only in the Key Lime and the Petunia Pink. Uh, the other colors are not on sale. So only certain colors are on sale in this bag. But this is the one I wanted. So I happily snapped it up on Monday, the first, I think the first day of the sale, and Rakuten was doing 10% cash back as well, which made it even cheaper. So I am really psyched to have this. And so I quickly wanted to show you uh, the details of this bag and what I can put inside. The measurements are, since it is called the Pillow Madison 18, it is 18 centimeters across, which is about seven-ish inches, maybe just over seven inches across. And that was important to know because I would not have purchased this if it was any smaller because I really do need to be able to fit my phone in bags that I'm carrying, especially when I'm spending that much money. And this does hold my cell phone. So why don't I go ahead and demonstrate what this holds. Right now I do have a few things in here because I actually carried it today. But here's my phone. And why don't I take these things out really quick and show you how they fit inside. It does have a back pocket and I put my card holder in the back pocket which is pretty much the only thing you're going to fit in there. A phone will not fit in this back pocket. So I put my card holder back here. And then in the main part of the bag, you've got a back zip pocket, which is very small. And that will only hold like a lipstick or something very, very small will fit in there. And I don't know if you'd want to use it. Who knows? Maybe you would. It's very small, very tight little pocket. You could put a lipstick. You could put like a band-aid or a, you know, cough drop or something in there. So <laughs> I've got my six key holder, which I'm going to put right down in the bottom. I've got a lipstick right here, which will go right next to that six key right there. And my phone which fits right in front of those two things. So now it's got my phone, my keys, a lipstick, and my card holder. And I consider this to be pretty much packed. This is a mini bag. This is very small. Just the bare essentials. Now I also like to have reading glasses with me wherever I go. So if I really had to have these, they will set nicely right on top and then I can close it with a turn lock and there you go you're good to go I really enjoy this it's so cute I think the color is great um, it's called key lime but I think it's the same color as the inside of an avocado um, which is fine because I love avocados now with this chain strap um, you can put it on your shoulder like that easily or it actually works really well as a crossbody bag and I'll stand up to try to give you a quick idea of where that sits on me right on my hip I am five foot one 
works great like that. I do not carry the larger version of this bag crossbody. I think it's too big for that and I love it as a shoulder bag. But you can do this either way with this one. Or you can just grab the chain, hold it as a clutch. It's awesome. It comes with a little hang tag. It has silver hardware, which isn't seen as often these days. And um, I'm, I'm glad because I think gold hardware would not have looked very good with this leather. And it has uh, the pillowing and quilting that is so cute. It is super soft lambskin, just like its larger counterpart. And yeah, it's got the turn lock closure, the covered C right there. It works great. Obviously does not have the double flap like the larger Pillow Madison. And it's just a cute little adorable little flat bag. I love it. So the sale is over on Sunday, the 28th. So run over to Zappos if you're interested in this bag or the pink one that Winnie B got and get it for $276. Um, I imagine, however, since we are changing seasons, that Coach and other department stores are going to put these colors on sale too, very soon. So I would, uh, if you miss the Zappos sale, then I would wait for this to go on sale at other places and get it for a good deal. Because I felt like, while I do love this bag, I felt like 400 was just, I wasn't willing to pay that much for something that is not an everyday bag for me. So that concludes my reveal and mini review of the Coach Pillow Madison 18 in the Key Lime Green. And I encourage you to head over to Winnie BLV's channel and check out her video about hers in the pink, just in case that's a color that you're interested in too. I will link her video down below and definitely subscribe to her channel if you haven't already done so. And please, while you're at it, subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't already done so. I recently reached 800 subscribers. I'm really excited about that. I'm so thankful to those of you who have stuck with me throughout the period when I was not uploading videos. I knew the summer would get pretty busy. Uh, my kids are home from school and so obviously they're always around. Right now they're actually playing together with the door closed, so I was able to quickly get a video in today. I really wanted to share this bag with you guys, especially while it was on sale. So thank you again for watching. Stay tuned to my channel. I will be uploading more frequently as we go into fall. I love fall. I'm planning to do a video soon about my favorite fall bags in my collection, so stick around for that, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.